many, many of them already. This is your first time seeing them. So this is, you're getting 12 of the dies that are the perfect frames for all of your photos. This is the way that you really highlight your photos. Whoops, in your scrapbooks. It is um, item number 804534. Let me see. Okay, so these are finished products. These are all of the dies. You're getting 12 pieces of dies. So from five by seven, um, all the way down, perfectly concentric. And um, they coordinate perfectly with those, the heirloom papers, the paisley papers, and the floral papers that we offered. We'll pull those up for you if you missed that. Those are an amazing set. Those are also $10 off. So this is your way to create the perfect scrapbook pages. And uh, this has been very popular because we want that perfect frame for our pictures. And these are the, the perfect sizes that, that fit all of our photos. Exactly, and so for me, embellishing behind a photo, it brings the photo forward, it brings it to life, it makes it more important when you're looking at it on a scrapbook page. And so the dies themselves, they coordinate with the, our border dies as well, so the designs are going to coordinate with a 12 inch border die. The larger frame has an interior frame of five by seven, all right? So you know exactly where to put your picture that's four by six, all right? So outer five by seven, four by six goes along this edge that it's created. Then we go a little smaller, right? We go four by six, and then we have a three by five opening for a photo. And then the smallest one is for your journaling tags. There's a set of four looks um, from very intricate to um, very masculine in the set. And what I think is nice about it is that you can see on this little board how this is the normal four by six photo right with that highlight behind it and then this is where we go to the three by five and this is how we get to the journaling tag that coordinates we're already halfway there when you look at this when we're scrapbooking because look, you know, you've got horizontal photos, you've got vertical photos, and having the background, right, is exactly what we wanna do. We wanna create these places to tell the story. We wanna highlight the photos on the front and behind and you can do that with the photo frame die. So we're able to take, with each one of these, I'll show you the, the, the reticulated one. I think this one's just so pretty for what you want. If you're working with photos of, of him or family members that uh, you need a little more uh, geometric design, this one was decidedly feminine, you know, with that little flirtily edge and the bow in the center. And then the, the most, I think, French looking of them, each one you know, has a different personality, a lot like what's going to happen in your photos. So if you're working with this for the first time, this is, we're going to cut the three by five photo um, out of the gold foil cardstock. And again, if you're using any of the, um, you know, the die cutting machines that you, whatever one you have at home, these dies are going to work. They're going to cut and emboss. Um, here's a tip for you when you're cutting and embossing a frame like this, you can use a double metal shim and get an even deeper emboss on the back of this. And so here, let me just show you very quickly. We're gonna take our picture and we're going to add it to the frame. And so we've given you guides that emboss. And so as you're working with this, if you were creating a layout and you wanted to um, have something that says, you know, all right, these cute little girls, right? They want it. we wanna do a little ballet, right? We can create symmetry. We can create a design down the middle of this page we can make sure that that journaling is included and everything coordinates perfectly uh, with all the embellishments and this is from our floral papers and embellishment set so when you're looking at this this is uh, if you bought this a la carte then you have the ability to create these beautiful floral layouts so that's not all you know the the frames they they work really well to create that focal point and and here here, I think this one shows it off really the best where you've got all that special detail going around the photo. It highlights that picture. It becomes part of the title. It's however you want to use it. Uh, but we're going to be working for three days with all of these beautiful dies and paper collections to create our memories in the scrapbooks for 2022.
So the papers that you are using are the ones that we, we popped up sort of on the side, 8045393, three different options. And this is the first time that you are seeing these dies. So you get all, uh, all 12 here, 12 of the dies in the sets. And that's important because it really does tie everything together in all the different sizes on your scrapbook pages, $79.95. But we've got five flexible payments today. It's $15.99 on any credit card. Uh, if, you, if you get an HSN card, you'll save an, addif an additional $10, but this is the way to get that perfectly finished look. I mean, you can put, Anna, we can put a, a photo on a scrapbook page, but until it's framed just right, this really, not only does it add dimension, but it, it highlights it. I mean, there's a reason we frame our photos, right? Exactly, and this 